But you guys got another video here for you on how to repair Microsoft Edge in Windows 10. Now, if you have any issues with Microsoft Edge, then this video is going to show you how to fix it. First off, you want to make sure you back up all of your favorites because you will be resetting your browser and you will lose all of this data. So if you've got any sort of uh, favorites here, it's always best to back them up before you start. And that way uh, you've got a backup of them. So let me just quickly save these and then we'll move on to the repair. So first up, what we're going to do is open up uh, the Microsoft Edge. Now, this is the latest version of Microsoft Edge. Now, sometimes you used to be able to go into apps and reset it from there, but you can't do it from there anymore. So what we're going to do is open up uh, the browser, go to the three dots and then settings. Inside here, we're looking for uh, reset, uh, reset settings, and you should now see this pop up and you can click on this and it will reset all of the settings inside your browser. So that was your first solution of repairing uh, Microsoft Edge. If that doesn't work, then I'll show you some other ways of going about trying to repair Microsoft Edge. So first off, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to uh, Explorer and then go to look at this PC. So inside here, we're going to go onto this PC, go up to the top where it says View. And what we're going to do here is go over to Options, and inside folder options here, I'm going to go to view and to make sure you've got show hidden files, folders and drives, uh, radio button in there. OK, and then click apply and OK. Once we've done that, we can click on the C drive, double click on this and this will take you to here. You should see an area where it says users. Click on this and then look for your user account. In my case, it's Brightech. Yours will be whatever user account you're using. Then we want to look for apt data, which is a sort of a translucent folder. That's because we're showing hidden folders. It is a hidden folder. So if you don't see it, go back and show hidden files and folders. Go into local. Once you're inside here, we're going to go down to where it says Microsoft. Click on Microsoft here. From there, we're going to go into Edge. And then you should see user data. Inside user data, what we're looking for here is default. So we're going to basically rename this uh, folder here. So rename this. I'm going to call this default.old or whatever you want to call yours. So push enter once we've got that done. And then what this is going to do is basically when we open up the browser, it's going to create a brand new folder with all of the files inside there, which will basically be like a brand new browser. So when we click on this now, it should look like you're the first time you've opened up the browser. You can see here it's, it's asking you to do some settings and stuff here. Now, hopefully this solution will fix your Microsoft Edge browser problems. If it doesn't, then I'll show you something else you can try to try and resolve uh, this problem. So let's close off the browser. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go to uh, the Explorer folder here. And then you should see inside this PC, I'm going to go into our C drive. And then just make sure that you're showing hidden files, folders, and drives again. Just want to make sure you're doing that here. So go to view in folder options, show hidden files, folders, and drives. Make sure you're doing that. Once you've done that, we can now go into users, choose your user account. In my case, it's Brightech. Yours will be whatever yours is. And then what we're looking for here is apt data again. It's grayed out. And then from here, we're going to go to local. Inside local. We're looking for this time packages inside packages click on uh, this one here and we're looking for this microsoft dot microsoft edge underscore and then that number there that you can see on the screen so find that inside this here and that once we've got that we can remove and delete that folder and what this is going to do is remove and delete this folder from microsoft edge and it will automatically uh, create a new one, which will be basically a new install. So let's just go ahead, highlight this and delete this like so. So let me just go ahead, highlight this and right click delete. And that's now gone. And let me just show you uh, another thing you can try as well, which is going into the registry editor. So type reg edit in the search box, open up this here, open up registry editor, go to H key uh, current user then software, then we want to go to classes, local settings, try and find local settings down here. It's quite a few files here, so just uh, root through here and try and find it. 
and there it is there and then we're going to go to software inside software we're going to go to microsoft and then we want to go to windows this one's a bit of a long one and then current version inside here and then app container inside this area here so click on app container then storage and then what we're looking for here is the Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge underscore that number there. So that is the one we're looking for in the Microsoft Edge uh, folder. So we need to find that there. So get that. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, delete that as well. So we just go here, highlight it. And then what you can do is just hit the delete key or you can right click and delete whichever way you want to go about doing yours. So let me just delete this quickly. There we go that's now done now once that's done we can uh, find some other microsoft edge in here you should see stable one here as well if you want to delete that you can do uh, once that's done you can close off uh, the registry editor i'll also give you the registry key to fix that registry back uh, as well let me just quickly show you the power shell so right click on the start button go power shell with admin then go yes to the user account control and paste in uh, this command here. It's a big command. And what that's going to do is basically reinstall Microsoft Edge and fix it. So just push enter. And then we can close the um, PowerShell window down. And I'm just going to get this registry file here and run this as well and show you this one. So either way, you can do any of these and hopefully your problem will be resolved. So once you've done this, what you can do is restart your computer. You definitely need to restart that to so make sure everything is OK. And uh, once we've done that, we can open up the browser. So let me quickly restart the system here. And uh, we can then open up our browser. And hopefully your problem should be resolved. So let me just uh, quickly let this get to the desktop. And there we are. So I'm just going to delete this file. We don't need that anymore. And when you click on the browser, it should open and everything should be back to normal and working properly. Now, if you're using an older version of Windows, there's different ways of going about repairing and, and fixing Microsoft Edge. But basically, if you want to go and download Microsoft Edge from the Microsoft website, you can download it from here and reinstall it as well if you're using an older version. And this will bring you back up to the modern uh, version of Microsoft Edge. Just uh, download this version here and get it installed on the system. I've already got mine installed, but you should see the download the new uh, Microsoft Edge based on Chromium. If you're using older versions here, I just basically go up here and allow, uh, put the tick box in there and then open up Edge this way and you should be able to download it. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's basically how you can uh, repair Microsoft Edge in Windows 10. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.